This Kello Land Living segment is sponsored by Achievable Life Management Services, where they understand that managing a home is a full-time job all by itself. Let Achievable Life Management help you handle the day-to-day -day duties in your life. Between cleaning, organizing, cooking, paying bills, running errands, and completing small repairs, all the tasks that are necessary for home management can easily consume the entire day. And if you work outside the home, are juggling a family, outside activities and commitments, and just keeping up with all that's being asked of you, it can seem impossible. Thankfully, our next guest is here to help. Jenna Fisher is the owner of Achievable Life Management Services. Jenna is here to tell us how she and her team can help turn your impossible days into possibly the best you've had in a long time. Boy, do we need this yeah. in our lives. <laughs> we do. Wow. <laughs> right. Okay. We're yes. happy that you're here to help us through this. So, Jenna, maybe can we start with just talking about what household management is and maybe how that differs from something we might already be familiar with? Yes. So, a lot of people are familiar with your standard residential clean, where cleaners will come in, clean the bathrooms, living rooms, vacuum, mop, all that. We go a step beyond. So, if we see a space in your home that could use some organization, or if you tell us, hey, we really want the kids' toy room organized, we'll take that on. We can help with laundry. We do basic meal prep. If you have some errands you need help running, we can do those. So it's just going above that standard cleaning to take that burden off your shoulders because we know families are busy and we want to help. See, I love that. I love that they see a problem and they yeah. fix it. Did you hear actually that the angels start singing and the clouds <laughs> part just now? And I did. I, did. I, I heard that. And... I thought yeah, to myself, yeah. <gasps> Finally, you Finally. said. Finally, yeah, it's that, pretty it's, amazing. It is. I mean, think about the the different things that you do offer. I mean, between laundry, I suppose dishes could be yep. on the on the table, cleaning out your fridge Meal or prep. your or your windows. I don't know, like all of those things that happen monthly sometimes or even annually can be done. Yes. And so, what can you when you go through someone's house? I mean, I'm sure you meet with them and they kind of give you a sense at first of what they're really looking for, but then. As you go and work with them, you get to know them better. You maybe mm -hmm. see some things that you could suggest yes. or else you kind of let yep. them guide. Yep, yep. As we get to know our clients better and we keep working for them, we're really great at taking the initiative and saying, you know, we organized the pantry a month ago. It's gotten a little out of control. We'll just go in there and organize it again. Or sometimes our clients will have us go pick up grocery orders so then we can just keep up with the organization. Yeah. So, yeah. Don't even let them get it out of control. Yeah. That's, that's a key. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about, I mean, consider Considering groceries, let's look at our refrigerator because you've got an after yeah. picture of a refrigerator yeah. we can look at. We've got a few things organized. Perfectly organized. And I see some meal prep in there too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. So, well, even if we see like strawberries or fruit that needs to be cut up for the kids, we can take on that. We can, yeah. See, that's it's like perfect. Like. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at the toys too because as a mom, that's where I'm like struggling okay. a lot. So, this is a before. So, you're like, you run across this in your, in your cleaning of the house and you're like, wow. This could yes. use some help. And then okay. let's see an after. Yeah. If I came home to that, I'd be very happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very and happy. kids will destroy it within 10 minutes. So that's why it's great that we're very routine with our services. So mm -hmm. we, the next time we're there, we'll reorganize it. So That's a good tip because oftentimes with somebody who's just doing organizing only, they're there once, but then you have to maintain it. Sure. That's a good point. Now, how many times do people generally have your services come through? We can book weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Bi-weekly is probably the best option mm -hmm. if that seems to work with your family. Um, sometimes if there's smaller homes or not a lot of kids, monthly will be okay, but most families are gonna want bi-weekly. Okay. And how long, maybe on average, or what's the range you maybe spend with a family in that kind of time frame? Around two to four hours. That's okay. not bad at all. Yeah. And it's you, much more efficient than us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, um, have you been an organizer all your life? Is this a passion of yours? Some people just have that gift. I would say my passion is more just helping people, and I'm a very much a to-do list person. So if I see things on a to-do list, I want to check them off and get them done. And I think a lot of those life tasks get put on the to-do list and never get done. Mm. So I just love taking that burden away from people, and it's less overwhelming when they look at their to-do list and they have things done. I yeah. wish I had that uh, I drive. Say, we all need a person like you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about another project you're doing right now where you're trying to have this service be available to somebody and through or not, you can nominate somebody who deserves it and they get some services from you for a couple of months. Yes, it's called the Achievable Care and Clean Program. And so we are looking for families that maybe they're struggling with health issues. We often will clean for people that are struggling with their mental health and mm 
their mm -hmm. dirtiness of their home is just really weighing down on them and making the issue worse. Um, and it doesn't have to be things like that. They could just have had a new baby and there's mm -hmm. a lot going on, maybe even foster families. And so what this is providing is free biweekly cleans for two months and those um, cleans are gonna be two hours. And so we're really just looking to help people in need. The community has been great supporting my business, so it's a great way for me to be able to give back to the community. That's really great. I mean, when a person is depressed and their house is, you know, in disarray, it, it doesn't get any better. And that new baby, that I heard. Oh, that's a time, right? Yes. Let's take a look at the basement before and after, too, because this is like, I was like, are you looking into my soul? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of times storage rooms, we just kind of throw things in there, mm -hmm. and it can be... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I tend to just throw it all in, but you you seem to organize it in a way <laughs> yes. that I can get to it all, <laughs> yeah. which is nice. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and then I would imagine if you have a, have a regular relationship with somebody over time that you can kind of, I could even maybe make a list of, here's the top 25 areas I know are unorganized and mm -hmm. just like attack them at your will. Yes. Like, right? Yes. Like we what, love that. Yeah. <laughs> when you get to it, get to it. <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea. You know. I like that. Yeah, just leave a list and they don't need to be done every time, but um, yeah. every now and again. What are some of the more unique um, household management items maybe that you've taken care of for people that we might not think of? Um, I have uh, taken a dog to doggy daycare before. Okay. Uh -huh. That was All fun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're organizing your toy rooms. Um, we've cleaned kids' shoes if they were out in the mud. Yeah. And, you know, that's an extra task. Mm -hmm. uh, Some yeah. of those extra things, I'm yeah. sure, like as parents too, like, oh, the class party's tomorrow and I said I'd make yes. treats yep. or yes. pick up some things, yep. birthday right. party coming up. There's yep. a lot of opportunities to have mm -hmm. some help in the household management area. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do, generally, do you do it during the day when they're at school and when people yes. are? Yeah, yep. generally, um, we usually work around eight start around that time get done about five so yeah okay yeah it's one of those things i think that when i actually get help which i desperately need that i am more inclined to try to stick with it too like i feel motivated mm -hmm. when someone's helping me i feel sure. motivated to do well myself mm -hmm. and i have enough help that i'm not as overwhelmed yes and you don't want them to be disappointed when they come back you want them to see the pro the progress and <laughs> yeah. that you've, you've done well and well, thank you so much. Thank now you. we're thinking about having you in our lives more often um, and how much we need you. So we really appreciate you being here today. Thank you. <laughs> if you'd like to know more about how Achievable Life Management Services can help you manage it all, you can reach Jenna by phone at 605-760-1188. And if you've got a question about their care and clean program, any of their other services, you can email Jenna at achievablelifemanagement.com. This Kello Land Living segment has been sponsored by Achievable Life Management Services, where they understand that managing a home is a full-time job all by itself. Let Achievable Life Management help you handle the day-to-day -day duties in your life.